It's 5 a.m. on WKYT this morning. A Kentucky State Trooper has been killed in a crash in western Kentucky. He is from Lawrenceburg. We'll have much more coming up this morning in a live report. Police are still trying to figure out what caused a crash that killed a Somerset man in Madison County. And today there will be a viewing for a state lawmaker killed in a brutal shooting in Charleston, South Carolina. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Good morning to you and welcome in. WKYT on the air on your Wednesday. It is June 24th and we are delighted you're with us. Not a bad start to the day out there. I'm Bill Bryant. Rebecca's off today. Meteorologist Micah Harris is on duty and he's checking things out ahead of the news. Good morning. Hey, good morning. It's one of those days you can walk outside and just feel a big difference in the humidity. It is way down. And that means, well, no, the real thunderstorm activity out there right now. We're at 66 in Lexington, 64 down I-64, heading from Lexington through Bath County and also making your way through Montgomery County all the way to Rowan. But then go south. We're still not out of the mix just yet in terms of the humidity. Give it another couple of hours, and we're already seeing those temperatures dive as that front barrels on through. We're at 86 by the afternoon. It's actually right around average for this time of year. A very nice one in store, partly cloudy skies. Humidity's down, but the focus of the forecast is the active setup ahead. We head toward tomorrow, thunderstorms late, late in the day, and then it really becomes active Friday and Saturday, which is unfortunate. A lot of plans, a lot of activities. I'll have that coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Micah, thank you. New this morning on WKYT, we have learned that a Kentucky state trooper has been killed in a crash in western Kentucky. 23-year-old Eric Christman was killed while conducting a traffic stop in Marshall County. WKYT's Mark Barber is at our live desk with more. And uh, Mark, the thing is here that we're, of course, focusing in on is the fact that uh, Trooper Christman is from our area. Yeah, Bill, that's exactly right. State police say that the 23-year-old was from Lawrenceburg in Anderson County. Trooper Eric Chrisman graduated from the State Police Academy just six months ago. State police tell us that the trooper was killed yesterday afternoon when he, was, when he crashed into a tractor trailer head-on while he was on his way to check out a reckless driving complaint in Livingston County. The driver of the semi wasn't seriously hurt, but Chrisman died at the scene. According to the Supporting Heroes organization, the trooper hydroplaned in his police cruiser on US-62 and slid into oncoming traffic near the Tennessee River Bridge. Supporting Hero says Chrisman is survived by his parents and two siblings. A stretch of US-62 near the Livingston Marshall County line is still blocked off this morning as crews continue to investigate the fatal crash. From the live desk, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you very much. Police are trying to figure out what caused a deadly crash on Interstate 75 in Madison County. That happened just after 5 yesterday in the southbound lanes near Exit 76 in Berea. Police say a car rear-ended a tractor trailer. The coroner says the driver's uh, the car's driver, 35-year-old man from Somerset, was killed. An accident reconstruction team spent hours investigating the crash. I know that um Traffic on 75 was moving a little bit slower at that point in time. That could have played into it, but like I said, it's still very early on, so I hate to speculate at this point. The name of the man killed has not been released. Police say all lanes of southbound Interstate 75 have reopened at the scene of the crash. People in South Carolina are beginning to say their goodbyes to the nine victims killed as they were studying the Bible at a historic black church last week. Don Champion reports from Columbia, where a viewing for slain pastor and state senator Clementa Pickney will take place. The body of Reverend Clementa Pinckney will lie in South Carolina's Capitol Rotunda today as mourners pour in to pay their final respects. Pinckney spent much of his time at the Capitol as a state senator. On Tuesday, his friends and colleagues took a moment to remember his character. A man who loved everyone that he came in contact with. Those who knew him best described Pinckney as a man guided by faith, not politics. It was in the Mother Emanuel AME Church where he was killed last week, along with eight others studying the Bible. I ask that in the memory of Mr. Pinckney, that we are generous in spirit, gracious in our conversation, 
A horse-drawn caisson will carry the reverend's casket here to the State House grounds later today, where the Confederate flag continues to fly high. Lawmakers in South Carolina have now begun debate on removing what many view as a sign of hate, others as a symbol of history. As we consider this amendment, we be respectful of the victims' families who are waiting to bury their loved ones. President Obama will deliver the eulogy at Pinckney's funeral on Friday. Don Champion, CBS News, Columbia, South Carolina. And two other viewings will be held tomorrow for Reverend Pinckney. One will be at Emanuel AME Church and the other in his hometown. Services for the other victims will take place this week and next week. The city has temporarily banned protests or picketing within 300 feet of where the funerals, memorials, or burials will take place. Well, back locally, Berea police say it was an easy target. They say a man wanted for theft charges unknowingly turned himself in. Berea police arrested Eulen Sams over the weekend. Police say Sams needed gas money, so he went to a church for help. Someone at the church gave him a voucher, but he had to go down to the police department to get it stamped. And police say it didn't take them long to realize that Sams was wanted. We have to run a check on those folks before we can give them a voucher. So we ran his uh, information and discovered that he had a, an active felony arrest warrant. It didn't stop there. Police say Sams was driving a stolen car. They say he had rented it from a Richmond rental car agency back in January, but never returned it. Sams did not want to talk to us from jail. A proposal to raise the minimum wage in Lexington is on hold, at least for now. The proposal would raise the minimum by nearly $3 to ten ten an hour. But during a budget meeting, the, uh, the council here in Lexington decided to table the proposal. Louisville's council approved a minimum wage increase that is now the focus of a lawsuit. And many urban county council members say they want that lawsuit resolved before they move forward. But others say they don't want to wait. This is within our reach. We can make real impact within our, within our community. The minimum wage in Kentucky has not increased since it was done federally back in 2009. The Urban County Council also discussed a proposal that would buy body cameras for Lexington police. According to our news partners at the Herald Leader, the council voted unanimously to put the issue of spending $600,000 for body cameras on the agenda for its upcoming meeting. The council had cut the money from the mayor's proposed budget over concerns that there could be hidden costs in the body camera program. Hey, it's good to have you along. It's 5.07 on WKYT this morning, and we're just getting started. Here on your Wednesday, coming up, former SNL funny woman Maya Rudolph showed Seth Meyers she is not done with her impressions just yet. And there's a new Spider-Man in town. That and more coming up in just about five minutes or so. We'll have a Hollywood Minute ahead. It is all about the fill outside this morning and toward the afternoon, too. It is a great day in store. However, you better enjoy it because you know it doesn't last long. Storms and heat back in the forecast tomorrow. Have that coming up next.